I'll never forget the day we met 20 years ago. I was picking up Kelsey, our three-year-old at the time, from the School for Little Children at the Methodist Church in Sugarland. Her teacher, Mrs. Green, told me that Kelsey had met a new friend that day, Avery Eli. Was so excited because we had recently moved to Sugarland and didn't have that many friends. Little did I know that that innocent little friendship would grow into a friendship that included the mothers of those precious little girls and their families. Janet and I hit it off immediately, sharing a lot of common interests, especially being creative and artsy. With her craft room being like a Michaels store and her garage like Home Depot and Mark being very handy, we could create anything we dreamed. And she dreamed out of the box and she dreamed big. She inspired me like no other. The projects we got ourselves into were amazing, especially for me. Spending time with Janet was amazing. She had such a kind, giving, loving, and generous spirit. No wonder she had so many friends who loved her so much. She always made me feel special. She looked for the best in me and always found it. We shared many laughs, mostly at ourselves, and Janet, thank you for laughing with me and not at me. And then after she was diagnosed with cancer, she inspired me to a whole different level. One of my neighbors was also diagnosed at the time and I asked if she'd go and talk to, to her. She didn't miss a beat and walked in there and put her arm around her and the next thing you know, they were going to the support group that Janet started. Janet raised tons of money for the Komen Foundation and basically she just gave hope to people who didn't have any. Even when she was really, really sick, I'd call to see how she was doing and she'd say, I'm fine, but how are you? She was selfless, courageous and loving so incredibly inspiring, truly an angel here on earth. I just thank the Lord that he put those two little girls together that day 20 years ago. Because without that encounter, my family and I sure would have missed out on having a glimpse of heaven on earth in the earthly body of Janet.